Kodama-san was actually invented by Kodama-san, and uh, Kodama Incorporated is taking the name of uh, Kodama-san and uh, using it in a way to honor him for his invention. And it's kind of unfortunate that a lot of people don't know about uh, Kodama-san because uh, he was so far ahead of his time in 3D printing that nobody really saw the applications. And so by going back and, and using his name, it's a way really to, to give respect to, to him and, and to also uh, tell people kind of the history of 3D printing and what it's come to today. Um, so the other meaning is uh, actually it has a double meaning, it's a uh, tree spirit. And the tree spirit is bringing uh, good luck and fortune. Uh, but also the tree is kind of interesting, right? Because the tree is like a nature's 3D printer since it grows uh, layer by layer, year after year. And uh, so this is kind of a double, double meaning of uh, Kodama. So what we're doing with 3D Printing Corporation in Japan is helping people get into 3D printing, helping them understand the technology, helping them apply the technology, making it easy for them to apply the technology. I think that's really the critical thing because right now, the 3D printing as a technology is not the problem. DDD Japan is a different professional group in a different field. The Trinus is a good place to use the Trinus and it's a good place to use the Trinus. Steel and Alumi Frame are made in a good place to use the Trinus and it's a good place to use the Trinus and it's a good place to use it. トライナスの一番いいところは組み立てからデータをスライスしてで造形物を得るっていうところまでの過程が初めての方でもできるようになってるということで信頼性も高いですしものだけじゃなくって経験として 3D っていうのを体験できるのでそれが一番おすすめですなぜトライナスが好きですかって聞かれるとやっぱり価格が安いのに品質がものすごい高いですパーツが11個しかなくて組み立てもかなり簡単ですビギナーでも子供でもトライナスを使えます So I think, I think the future of 3D printing is really limitless、um, You know just to talk about one specific area would be medicine And now we have 3D printers that are able to recreate、uh, entire complex organs because we can actually build the structure, the、um, sort of the substrate, and deposit the correct cellular material into the structure and create a complex living human organ. And I, it's not there yet, but before this tech, before we had this、uh, 3D printing organ technology. It wasn't even possible. It was、uh, it was still fiction. It was still science fiction to、um, to talk about making organs from from nothing, from just basic cellular material. Now, with 3D printing, we're at the level where we can say, well, it's not it's not impossible. Maybe we're not there yet, but give it another five or ten years, and the impact of something like that is that we can replace the entire system. We have now in hospitals where we are donating organs to people, and there's shortages, there's wait lists for years. Imagine if we can remove all of that just by implementing 3D printing into every hospital.